Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Chris and welcome to Linux Tech Geek. So here recently on the channel, I have been getting a lot of requests wanting me to show them how to set up Wi-Fi here on Gentoo. And because I do have Wi-Fi on my, uh, my desktop here, I thought I could show that off. Now, in today's video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you two different methods that I personally use anytime I am dealing with Wi-Fi. Um, one of those methods is more of a manual approach, and one of those methods is more of an autom automatic approach, probably the approach that 90% of you guys will be familiar with. But I do want to show both of those different approaches um, just for you to have kind of in your arsenal so you guys know what to do um, when the occasion rises. Okay, so let's go ahead and flip over to the desktop. And... Okay, so first we're going to start out with the manual approach. Okay, with the manual approach... The thing that you need to know is, A, you need to know what your uh, wireless card name is, okay? And then we need a couple of different programs. We need a program called WPA Supplicant, okay? And we also need a program called DHCP CD. What WPA Supplicant will do, that will allow you to associate your network card your wireless network card to your router or to your modem okay and dhcp what that will allow you to do is that will actually allow you to get an ip address after it associates okay that's what's going to allow you to actually connect to the uh to the internet okay um so let's go ahead and hop over here to a terminal so, there are two different ways that you can get your uh, network uh, interface adapter, okay? One of those approaches is you can just use ifconfig, okay? And if you hit ifconfig, you can see that this WLP9SO, that's actually my wireless card, okay? This burb RO, this is for virtual machines and... The LO is loopback, and then, of course, the top one here is my Ethernet card, okay? Or, what you can also do is, and what I personally like to do when with dealing with a wireless specifically, is I like to get a program called Wireless Tools, okay? It's a package, so you can do wire, uh, Emerge Wireless Tools, okay? And what this will do is, this will install a program called iwconfig and what iwconfig does is iwconfig will only show wireless network adapters okay so if i type in iwconfig you can see that it doesn't show it, it tells you exactly the, the the wireless adapter right um because everything else does not have a wireless extension okay and i personally like to use iwconfig over ifconfig the very nice thing too about using this manual approach is if you are on the uh the bootable iso of gen 2 um all of this stuff comes pre-installed for you so you don't need to install anything else um if you're doing this from the iso if you're if you're starting a new install um however of course after you convert over and cheroot and everything like that then you'll need to install these uh applications but uh at the very beginning you don't really need to uh you know to download anything um, and that's personally why I, I, I do like this approach a little bit more. Okay, so after we have our network name, okay, and we have that right here. Then what we need to do is we need to actually write a configuration file for WPA supplicant. Okay, and I'm going to show you an example um, configuration file that I have here on the system. Um and I named it Network Example. Okay, and that's the only thing that you have to you have to put in this in this configuration file. It's five lines long. 
So all you have to do is pretty much you have to have the SSID. So what SSID is, that's the name of the router that you're trying to connect to, right? And PSK, what that is, that's your password that you would use. That's your, um, whenever you, you know, try to um, hop onto your network, that's going to be your, your password. Okay, so that's the only thing that you need to uh you need to do here and this configuration i mean you as you can see it's it's only like four or five lot lines long so it doesn't take that long to uh actually write that okay so after you have that configuration file after you've made it and you got everything set up now what we need to do is now what we uh we need to uh tell wpa supplicant what network name or what network interface that we're going to use okay and we need to have it use our custom configuration file okay so i'm not going to use that network example i'm going to use the uh my own custom one because that network example will not work for me um because um i don't have you know, I don't have the SSID and the uh, the password and everything saved. The only bad thing about using this is that um, your your network password is not encrypted or anything like that. It is just in a uh, just in a file. I'm pretty sure there are different methods that you can use, but um, like I said, if you just need uh, if you just need internet. At the very beginning of installing Gen 2, then this is a perfect way to, to kind of get this going. So what I like to do is I'm going to go ahead and clear this. And then we, if we type in WPA supplicant, we can see that it has several options. Okay. And the options that I personally use is minus I for interface name. Okay. And then we do the minus C for configuration file right here. And then I like to run the WPA supplicant daemon in the background. That way um, I can still use my terminal. Okay, so the way we do this is WPA supplicant. Okay, minus I. And I need to get my, uh, my interface name again. So I'm going to do minus I and then WLP 9SO or S0, okay, and then we're going to do minus C, and then I'm going to do my network, because that's my actual network, okay, but in your case, you would use that network, uh, whatever you named the file, or whatever, okay, and then we do capital minus B, okay, we hit enter, and you can see that it says successfully initialized WPA supplicant. So now your Wi-Fi adapter is connected or it's associated with your router, okay? But you haven't got a network um, address yet, okay? So this is pretty much them shaking hands and them saying, hey, um, your password matches what we have um, we're, you know, we're in good standings, right? So now what we need to do is we need to use DHCP CD to actually get a, um, to get a, uh, IP address, okay? And the way we do this is DHCP CD, and then we use our network name. And so ours is WLP 9S0. And you'll see it says sending commands to DHCP CD process. Okay. Now yours might be a little different because if you're not already running DHC, C, DHCP CD, then um, what it will do is it should spit out some IP addresses to you. Okay. Um, now I'm already running DHCP CD. I guess I could have killed the process. In fact, let's go ahead and kill that process. DHCP CD. So you guys can actually see what it does here. Um, so here we go. It says it's going to wait for the carrier. Okay, so I just had to unplug my, uh, my actual cord from my uh, Ethernet adapter. But we do have internet, okay? So after you run that command... 
it'll connect right it'll give you a, it will release you an ip address and then you can test that okay you can do ping minus c minus three okay and the minus c means count to three and then we can do uh google.com um if i can type here and we should get something replying back and there it is so you can see that we we received and we got packets back okay so that's the manual way that's all there is to it and like i said you can use this method when you very first start up an iso and it'll work um, you can use this with many different linux distributions if you want to um, i have personally on my laptops when i did own a laptop um, this is how i've always installed gentoo using wi-fi at the very beginning and i also use this method when installing arch linux okay so it, it doesn't matter the distribution or anything like that the other method the more automatic method and probably the method like i said that you guys probably will be more familiar with that is using something called network manager okay and everyone is familiar with network manager if you ever run a desktop environment if you've ever done anything on any sort of desktop linux you probably use network manager um and network manager it, it's the same as it is on any other distribution okay so what we need to do is we just need to install it so i'm going to do eix network manager now i already have it pretty sure i already have it installed uh let me see network manager is that how you making sure i have it installed here or if i need to install it yes so i do have it installed here as we can see right here um so i'm not going to reinstall it um because you guys already know what it is um but with network manager only thing we have to do really is start the network manager service now if you want the desktop applet so if you want the little icon that you can click on to you know connect and everything like that what you need to install is the it's called nm hyphen applet okay and you need this applet right here and what this applet will do is if i open up a new thing here um so if i do nm applet okay now you can see at the top right hand side of my screen here if it is coming in clear like you can see it right here now i personally don't run network manager uh simply because i don't need to i'm on a wired connection but if i was using um a wireless connection then of course um i would use it okay so it says right here network manager is not running well the only thing we need to really do is we need to uh we just need to start the service right okay so we install network manager we install we we install the network manager applet okay we get those two installed now what we can do is we can start the network manager service okay so we can do rc service network manager start okay make sure network the n is capitalized in network and the m is capitalized in manager okay hit start it says it's online the service started okay and we can test this because if we run that nm applet again you can now see that the network manager icon appears right pretty easy now what if we want to start the what if we want network manager to start at runtime or when the computer boots well i have my show notes let me look so it is you're gonna do rc update add network manager default you're gonna type this command in hit enter and then the next time you restart your machine network manager 
will just automatically start. It's a service, okay? And that's it. You're done, okay? So there's two different ways, and I'm pretty sure there's many more that you can you can uh, use wireless on Gen 2 or get wireless kind of working here on Gen 2. Now, if you run that IW command, I, uh, IW config command, and you do not see a wireless interface there, what that means is, A, you need to pick a kernel that has it, um, that has the driver installed. B, maybe your network card, uh, you know, uh, maybe it's not compatible with Linux at all. I've seen that before. Okay. Or C, maybe you need to manually install the, uh, the driver for your network card. I personally cannot help you with that. Okay. Because every network card is different, uh, depending on manufacturer and everything. So, like I said, if you do not see your network interface, then you need to do some investigation by yourself. Okay? You need to hop on Google. You need to look it up to figure out how to get it, how to get Linux to 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 see your network card. Okay? Um now, lucky for me, I have a network card that uh, is compatible with Linux and everything works plug and play. All right. So I hope this video does help you guys. Um, I know it's kind of short and sweet, but really, guys, most of this stuff is not hard. OK, um, if you guys do have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Um, I'll get back to you guys. And until next time, I want you guys to take care. Be safe and peace. Thanks, guys. Bye.